guys, welcome to Talk Shit with P, episode three. Da 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 da. <laughs> I really need to find a bit box or something to do this. Anyways, episode three is all about mental health checking, and um, the reason I'm doing a mental health checking because it's May, and May is Mental Health Awareness Month. If you didn't know, now you know. You're welcome. So, with May being Mental Health Awareness Month and I personally being a mental health advocate, it was only right that episode 3, which is also my first episode in May, touches on the mental health check-in, especially with COVID-19. So, let that say, I'm not going to go deep into mental health and everything, but I'm going to just touch on the basis of how you can help your friends or family who are dealing with mental health or what you or your family or friends can do to occupy themselves while dealing with mental health. And this is all based on me and what me and the people that I know have gone through this and we've talked that has helped us. Let me remind you, I'm not a mental health professional, so don't come hitting on me with the hard questions or whatever most of these things are what i've dealt with personally or i've had friends who have been talking dealt with so most of the other information you can find them on google or look for a mental health professional and if you are a mental health professional out there you're very much welcome to my show anytime just hit me up on the dms my email or twitter and I don't want you guys coming attacking me on some of the information that I share because with mental health, everybody deals with it in their own way. Okay, so first of all, let's discuss what is mental health. Mental health refers to your emotional and psychological well-being. And um, with now that corona is going around, so many people have lost their jobs. They are not close to their friends. They're not close to their usual daily activities they're far from families or lost friends and families uh they're feeling hopeless because you have no money coming in there's no income coming in and some of them sadly are uh, in unhealthy or abusive relationships or households which is which for them right now is the toughest and i send my heart out to you guys today So let's talk about ways you can be there for your friends who are dealing with mental health. One, make sure you set time aside with no distractions. Nobody wants to talk to somebody who they're distracted by anything. So if you feel you're busy at that certain time when they want to talk, just ask them to give you a time. Otherwise, if they're talking to you, pouring their soul out and they feel like you're distracted with something else that's very disrespectful especially when she's already going through a mental health issues second let them share as much or as little as they want don't pry just let them do the talking whatever they want to share if they're not ready to share more let them be if they're ready let them be so That's why you need to make sure that you have enough time on your hands to be there for them. Don't try to diagnose or second guess their feelings. There's nothing that hurts a person who's going through something and then you're constantly telling them, oh, I know how you feel. I went through that, but I got over it. Oh, yeah, somebody else went through that. Oh, Oh, that must be you just being hungry. Oh, that must be you just being tired. No, don't try to diagnose them or second-guess their feelings. That is a big no-no to somebody who's dealing with mental health. Keep your questions open-minded. Talk about well-being. So instead of trying to figure out or to diagnose them, try to give them ways of how they can of ways that can help them with their well-being like drink more tea try getting fresh air oh it's you know whatever that helps yoga exercise suggest activities or hobbies you know that sort of thing listen careful to what they tell you that's the more important part because sometimes they're giving you their 
reasons like I believe that most people who end up trying to kill themselves or commit suicide their last calls if they do end up having last calls there's always signals or signs so if you're paying attention to what they're telling you you might catch them so that's why it's important to not be distracted and have time for them when they they need you offer them help in seeking professional support and provide infos on way to, ways to do this so you should always know your limits of helping your friends when they are constantly battling and talking about committing suicide or trying to kill themselves or you feel like they sometimes they don't have to say it you just feel like oh my god maybe that's where they're heading to suggest to them they seek professional help and i know that's hard most of us hate seeking professional help or being told we need to seek it so do it. you don't have to tell them like oh my god i think you should go see a therapist or something go yourself do some research google a therapist or a, a free therapist or if they're in college a counselor or uh you know a hotline a crisis hotline a suicidal hotline whatever come to them with the number and tell them oh my friend was going through this and they say this person helped them try checking them out try talking to them do it in a way that they don't feel like they are burdened as well because that's also the bigger thing so make sure you know your limit with, with with helping your friend when you feel like oh my god okay this talking is not helping and i've reached my my point where i have nothing else to say cuz hey nobody we are not professionals in this we are just trying to be there for our loved ones so there's nothing bad about suggesting them they seek professional help it's just how you do it Now that we're done, those are the only ways I know how and which have helped me when my friends were coming to me. So now I'm going to tell you guys for those who are dealing with mental health if you're listening, how to get by during this time and what has helped me not only during this time but during normal times as well. Distract yourself. I'm I'm a person who lives in my head. So if I can get any ways to distract myself and keep myself busy, it helps me to stay out of my head. And anybody who's dealing with mental health, half of the time they live in their head too much. We are overthinkers. We think too much and we think deep. It's not that just easy going thinking. We think deep. So distract yourself. Find hobbies, um painting, cooking, baking i hear baking is very therapeutic i'm very bad at it i hope one day i can get better at it but i suck at baking but here it's very therapeutic gardening planting those are things i hear that therapeutic reading read the self help books and don't read things that just going to consume your mind so there's that then just move when i say just move it doesn't just mean exercise because we all know some people out there hate exercising and sometimes exercising is not the intense exercise you know you can just jump skip some rope jump up and down go for a walk fresh air helps to keep your mind clear and your body fresh me and my friends just started walking and we're hoping to do it three times a week and yesterday we did it for three all hours almost three and a half and it was very therapeutic the fresh air the soreness by the time i got home i was so tired i showered and went to bed so just move also break from news and social media i will not emphasize that enough every time i've gone to whatever i take a break from social media social media makes you consumes all those things that you didn't need it makes you get these negative thoughts especially if like me i'm 30 and i'm not where i wanted to be so sometimes i feel bad but that's okay just because you're not where you want to be doesn't mean you you can't be there you just need to have the energy and the focus to work for what you know so as long as you're willing to fight and work hard to get there there's no age limit for where you should be i know we have these ideas in our head but also sh- social media helps put those ideas and you shouldn't be watching news 24/7 about this corona and people dying that's too much stressfulness and overwhelming so 
you can watch half an hour an hour news in the morning half an hour an hour news in the evening not throughout the day shorten it you don't need all that because it's going to overwhelm you. You're going to start keep on thinking, oh my God, so we're not opening next week. Oh my God, how am I going to survive? You don't need all that. Seek help. This is the biggest one. If it's too much, don't be ashamed. Don't feel bad for seeking help. Professional help is advised if you're dealing with mental health. Be it treatment, medicine, therapy. To be honest, I want to see a therapy. I know I can't afford one yet right now, but eventually I want to see a therapy. I feel like it will do good for me. So if you're out there and thinking about seeing a therapy and you, you're feeling ashamed about that, don't be. I'm here to tell you that if you need a therapy, go get yourself a therapy. If you need to use medicine, use medicine. I just don't use medicine because I hate medication. But whatever that helps you get through, do it. At the end of the day, this battle is between you and yourself, nobody else. So do whatever is necessary that for yourself and your well-being. Connect virtually. Just because we can't be with our friends and families doesn't mean we can't connect to them virtually. Thank God for FaceTime, Skype, Zoom, and my personal favorite house party. Boy, shout out to my reunion girls who keep me entertained on house party every time i feel sad or low i just text them house party they come on in and we just talk and laugh and smile and play games and half of them have kids so when i see their kids playing or laughing they'll be popping in the videos hi hi trying to do some faces and shit that warms up my heart and puts a smile on my face and all my issues go away like i just feel like thank god so connect with your friends virtually, play games. House party is best for playing games online with your family and friends. Use it. Avoid access use of alcohol or drugs. You might think it's helping you, but trust me, it's not. It's just making worse. I enjoy a glass of wine and beer and I would drink. And it's okay to drink with your friends, but don't use it accessly to help with your mental health. It just worsens it because I don't know about you guys, but alcohol makes me be deeper in my thoughts. So it's no help for me. And try to put your daily schedule on point. I know it's hard right now. We are all home. Even if you're working from home or you're not working from home, just wake up and do go on with your normal routine. You don't have to leave your house to go to the office, but like wake up, make your bed, shower, make breakfast, dress up. You don't need to dress up professionally. Put on a nice dress, put on some makeup, tie your hair, do your hair, you know. Or even if it's pajamas, put on some good clean pajamas and just go out through the day. I am a firm believer in if you look good, you feel good. And sometimes when you're just lazing around and in your nightgown or whatever, you just feel lazy and low. So shower and dress up. And it's okay to have those days. You just want to be in bed. I've had those days. But I wouldn't let them go throughout the night because I feel like if I go through the next day, I'll stay again in bed the next day over and over. Yes, everybody is different, but that's how I am. So if I stay in bed the whole day, I'll make sure by 6.37 I'm up, I'll go shower, I'll, I'll, I'll oil my body, I'll put on some nice clothes, whether it's just pajamas or a top and shorts or whatever. I know it's 7 p.m. I ain't going nowhere, but it will make me feel good. And I will sit down instead of my bed and watch TV or whatever, get a glass of wine, eat some food and just feel fresh. And then in another five, six hours, go back to bed. But at least my body woke up and felt fresh. It helps. Trust me. Now that that's all I know that helps me, it's, I'm pretty sure there are other things out there. As I said, I'm not a mental health professional. So you should go out there and search whatever helps for you. And also one of the biggest things that helps for me as well is praying. I start my day every day with a prayer. And don't just pray. Make sure you have faith in the prayer that you pray. That helps me. It puts my day in a good mood. Like whatever I'm going through, even if I woke up feeling crampy or sad and I just do my Bible readings and pray, 
it helps me and shout out to everybody who's praying with me on bible verse on the bible app sending me bible verses sending me bible prayers you all are keeping me going i appreciate you all you're too many i can't mention well not too many shout out to seka jerry um and siska and chuni you guys the prayers you keep sending me and helping me pray the bible verses everything i appreciate it trust me all that you send me i send them out i i have my special people shout out to guantua and rachel who are constantly send them and to my mama <laughs> But I've also started a habit of praying for my friends. Um, for some reason, every time I read uh, my Bibles, some names just pop up and I'll send them personal prayers. I'm still not very good at them, so don't judge me. But it has helped me keep me going. My faith has helped me. And once you have faith, it's easy to keep going. So whatever that helps you, do it. Mental health is a illness and it's real and it's not something to take it is lightly because as soon as you let it consume you it's going to consume you. you have to fight you have to allow your body to fight but if you allow your body to to die down it's going to eat you up and remember this is a battle that you're fighting with yourself nobody else nobody understands because they're not in your body and everybody every illness with mental health deals with it differently as i said anxiety mood swings panic ocd ptsd depression bipolar they are all different they all have different characteristics and different ways that they consume you and deal with you so be careful how you you protect yourself protect your energy at all cost i cut it i cut contact with anybody who's negative i don't watch anything that's negative like i don't care how long we've known each other if you're constantly complaining to me if you're constantly talking negative shit, bye so if I haven't been answering your calls, you know why. I don't need negative people around. I need people who are positive. Even if try to look at something good in, in the bad. Like I know we have bad days and everything, but if you're constantly complaining, I can't deal with that. Every bad thing has a good thing in it. You just need to look into the good instead of the bad and take it as it is so basically that's all checking on your people you know everybody is dealing with it and i have to say this don't wait for people to check on you especially right now with covid everybody is dealing with it you don't know what people are dealing with their family so don't be mad if your friends are forgetting to check in on you you do the check-in because this is not a one person thing the entire world is dealing with it so you shouldn't be out there sitting being mad. Oh, I don't like her anymore. She didn't check on me. Bruh, did you check on her? Everybody is dealing with it. And just because they're not checking on you, doesn't mean they're not out there praying for you. Because prayer is also powerful. So if you forget to check on your friends, pray for them. But mental health checking is important especially if you have friends who are nurses who are essential workers right now who are out there during this time those ones need more of the checking i don't understand what they're dealing with because it must be hard especially nurses and doctors they have to deal with people who have covid19 so they need more checking and I don't understand. I, I I really pray for their mental health every day. It must be hard. So let's keep each other in our prayers. Let's, even if you don't like somebody or whatever, this is not the time. This time we need the community to come together, pray together, check in on each other, love on each other. Your neighbors, you don't have to talk to your neighbor. Even if you haven't talked to your neighbors, this is the time show some compassionate love show some humanity by the way also for uh for mental health treatments are therapy medication so far whatever your body can handle or your body can deal with do that for you 
Everybody is different. Everybody handles it different. I self-medicate and suffer because I can handle it. But as I said, I still want to see a therapy because medication doesn't work for me. And remember, if you're in, in university, I know for us, Georgia State is offering um, counseling, online counseling. So check with your universities. If they have counseling and you need it, use it wisely. I know there's, uh, if you're feeling suicidal, there are suicidal prevention lines, crisis counselors, hotlines, use them. Every country, I know when you just go on Google and type free counseling, social, whatever, you will find it. Please use it. We're already losing a lot of people with corona. We don't need to lose any more with mental health. Fight. You can't expect people to fight for you if you're also not fighting. I know it's hard. Trust me, I've been there. I'm dealing with depression. You got to fight. We want to see you win. So please fight. Ta-da, ta-da. I have so many stories to share about me dealing with my mental health, but today is not the day. That will be another episode, another time when I share my story. As I said, this was just a mental health check-in and ways to for you to help check in on your friends. Said all that, I also need to shout out to Malaysia. I was having a hard time coming up with this episode. It was really draining because today, first of all, it's Cinco de Mayo and it's Taco Tuesday. It's my favorite holiday. I'm stuck in though when the weather is nice. I could be on a rooftop out there enjoying a margarita and tacos. So I was feeling sad and I was in my emotional mental health state. I'm not going to lie. I was feeling very crappy from the whole day. And uh, my friend Malaysia texted me and she's like, I'm just checking in on you. I responded to a message. Then she video called me. I cried on FaceTime with her. But I think her allowing me to cry and to just talk it. She's like, girl, just got to survive. All this, it don't matter. Just, you know, do what's best for you and your mental health. And it did help me. And right I woke up and now I'm here recording this episode for you guys. So thank you, Malaysia. I needed that call. <laughs> now that we're done with the main topic of this episode, let's get to the fun part. The giveaway. If you've been in our Insta page, you know that we are giving away one of our t-shirts. The reason I decided to give out the t-shirts is because I've been getting a lot of feedbacks, everybody asking where they can get one. So I've decided to give out one for free to a lucky person. So how can you win this t-shirt? Screenshot you uh listening to our podcast so if you're using if you're listening through a laptop take a picture of the episode if you're doing it from your phone screenshot it make sure you post it on your insta story not on your insta page but insta story or if you don't have instagram post it on your twitter we are very active on twitter so when you post it there, tag three people. And the reason we ask you to tag three people because it's episode three and it's a mental health check-in episode. So when you're tagging those three people, make sure it's those three people you want to check in on their mental health. And it gives them a chance to also either listen to the episode and for them to end up tagging other three people who they would want to listen to the episode. Okay? So yes, let's spread mental health awareness out there. You see where I'm going with this? Yeah, okay. So, screenshot listening to our episode, tag three people. And once you tag the three people, make sure you also tag us. That is Talk Shit With P. Tag us as well so we can see you. And also you have to have the hashtag. We have two hashtags. Mental Health Awareness Month. Mental Health Check-In. So put those hashtag in there, tag us, tag three people, put it on your story or on Twitter, and voila. Remember, one t-shirt, one winner, and winner will be announced on the next episode. But also remember that the more people you tag, the better chances are, are there for you to win. We don't want to stress it for you that you have to tag a lot of people. We want three because it's episode three and we're doing a mental check-in. But the more people you tag, 
the more chances are for you. So it all depends on your motivation on how much you want to win this t-shirt. Let's go! <laughs> manager yes i do have a manager shout out to angie <laughs> she's gonna kill me for this but she will be picking up the winner because she came up with this game so it will be her picking up the winners for this all right um mental health checking checking on your people people this is a hard time we are all going through it we all need each other it's help support love everything let's pull up for our people let's pull up for each other as rihanna said pull up <laughs> talk shit with p out